very good afternoon and welcome to the Potters Resorts 2022 World Indoor Bowls Championships here at Hopton on Sea. Coming up this afternoon we have another World Open Pairs game. It's Greg Harlow and Nicky Brett taking on Wayne Wilgress and Ashley Nethercliffe. Let's have a little look at what we have for you for the rest of today. Following this game around about 3.30, the current champions Mark Dawes and Jamie Chesney. They take on Simon Skelton and Michael Stepney. And later on this evening, Dean Warmington of the United States takes on with Scott Edwards. They're playing Lee Calver and Connor Sinato. Quick look at the officials then. Our marker is Alan Thornhill and the umpire is Bernie Hill. Let's go live to the portable rink here at Potter's Resorts and we'll take it with the MC Jack Jenkins. Yes, thank you very much and good afternoon. First out this match, we have a new pairing who between them have several national indoor and outdoor titles and one member, a previous quarter finalist of this event. Please give a big warm welcome to Wayne Wilgress and Ashley Nevercliffe. Against the pair this afternoon with trophies in the Scottish Open, the International Open and have numerous national titles. They both are former World Singles Champions and together former winners of this event. The number six and number one in the world. Please put your hands together for Greg Harlow and Nick Brett. up to Jason Parkinson in the commentary box. Well, thank you very much, Jack. Once again, welcome everybody back to Potter's Resorts here in Hopton on Sea for another cracking World Open Pairs. Joining me in the commentary box this afternoon is Robert Paxton. Good afternoon, Robert. Hi, Jason. Yeah, looking for a good game this afternoon. Um, Battle of the Leeds is going to be crucial in this one, I think, to start with. Yes, two ball pairs, we've said it before. It's really important the the lead gets them pretty close and just gives something the skips to play with. <laughs> Ashley Nethercliffe came through the qualifying the rounds meters. at the Swansea venue. Actually qualified with his partner at the time, William Moulton. He's unfortunately not able to attend due to isolating at the moment. He'll be back with us for the under 25s. He's the defending champion in that. So we look forward to seeing William back with us. Wayne was the uh, PBA rank number one player, so he got the invite. He had to play a prelim round to get to the stage on the bowler's bar. Played very well together. Well, Nick and Greg. Not much we can say really about Nick and Greg. Done everything there is to do in the game really. Nick's really excited to be back here after a year off with injury. Yeah, especially uh, missing out on the box this year with you. I'm definitely pleased to be out on the green <laughs> this year. Well, it wants to get back to the red bowl. Yeah, it's just started off slightly slower. It's almost playing like now what it does towards the end of the tournament, really. Um, but there's no tricks on the green at the moment. It's if you chuck them close, you got a chance. There's no say, no no runs or anything like that. So it's slightly slower, not quite as bendy as normal. But there are still good lines. One green. It's good to see the players playing in the different colours again. I'm shocked Nicky's got his shorts on. Yeah, it's not great for the viewers, to be fair. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's great. I mean, personally, the black, I think, look better with the tops. Um, and it's just changing colours, really. Get away from the whites. 
it's obviously going to be a split decision. Yeah, we've been running a poll here at the resort amongst all the guests and the supporters. Black, black has gone down quite well, which is good. Always great to make changes. Just slightly missed that. Yard, yard. Yeah, yard the bowl, yeah. draw to the red ball for Wayne. for two there Wayne finished really well as well almost covers that little bit of jack turn for Nick well just looking to get to the shot bowl or even back to the jack will be a bit of a bonus two shots Wilkerson and Nethercliffe Let's go zero two, first end. Seeing so that managed to pick yourself a partner for the mixed pairs, Robert. Yeah, I've got I've got fortunate this year. Um hopefully she's got strong shoulders. <laughs> it will definitely be needed. Um but yeah, I mean whoever you draw really in the mixed pairs, you're gonna, Jack gonna get a decent meters. partner because so there's eight quality women over here this year, which that starts on Friday. Perfect pace. Right. Well, nearly just promoted it. One green. Doesn't look too bad. Just needs to bend. I think he thought that was just slightly further than that. Yeah, both backhands are a little bit flatter this year. Um, and the inside line is that fraction heavier. It does pull up a touch. So all the players are generally using slightly wider 
drawing bowls this year. We'll just need to get inside his last bowl here if he's going to make another. Not quite that. I think that's the way, yes, mate. Well, if this reaches, it's a shot. Just managed to get over that seam. Well, she's called for a measure. Uh, let me close. Bernie Hill coming on to measure these, just while Bernie's measuring. Measure for shot. We're always trying something new here at the World Bowls Tour, so this afternoon's game, we've got a treat in store for you. Next game on, Mark Dawes and Jamie Chesney, Simon Skelton, Michael Stepney. In the commentary box for that one is, well, two of the best bowlers there is, to be quite frank, Alex Marshall and Paul Foster. Don't miss that one. Join them shortly after this one. That'll be a fantastic opportunity. And then this evening's One game shot. Will, will be Darren Burnett and Stuart Anderson in the commentary box. So, something a little bit different for you all. Set. Nope, thank you. Score 0-3, second Too far off, not, a, not an easy length at all, it's just over bare minimum. See Greg just on the right on the outside of the mat there, just helps that ball bend just a little bit more at the end. One red. Nice draw to the, the red ball for Wayne. Oh, chance here for Nick now. Put a little bit of pressure on Wayne. Mm -hmm. 
Well, they're coming back to the jack. Two red. We'll certainly be turning over here. go oh my goodness well, it's a good job the players aren't mic'd up this year I think after that I fancy just messing I'd rather be a little bit more at it and take what we get he did say sorry but <laughs> perfect pace off that ball See what he's looking at. You know, there's two seconds. The trouble is, there's a little bit of bad fortune if the jack goes left. And Nick might be tempted to run quick at this, to be honest. Especially down that backhand. If you anything just over pace, it is so hard this year. Goes quick and gets into the jack. There should be something of their bowls going. Greg saw Nicky's runner going through with it. Yeah, important to play the correct pace, isn't it? Well, it is firm down the forehand, looking for just the bowl. Doesn't want to Very piece close. of the jack. He's unlucky, I think. That's the bit he didn't want. Now, where's the jack going? I think it's stayed in, has it? No, nope, just gone out. Three shots, Will Grissom, never clear. <laughs> that was the only bad result I thought he could get. You know, the shot was very good. Just thought if he just, just got a bit of jack Set movement to that side. Zero, six, I think the ball he played with, unfortunately, like, he got wrecked as well, didn't he? He didn't follow through. But had he followed through, then it'd been fine. Yeah, so. that's what I thought. He might have gone a touch quicker, really, to sort of guarantee. Yeah, certainly a great start from the qualifiers, Ashley and Wayne. Jack then 23 and a half metres. Yep, sticking to the shorter length. From Ashley there. Yeah. 
Another great bowl from Greg there. Mm -hmm. You could be tempted at this. Look for the pair of bowls. Two red. Well, Wayne's never afraid to attack. He's a good attacking player. Has all the shots in his game. It's a lot harder, isn't it? I said this earlier with two bowl pairs. If it's a three bowl pairs, you're inclined to go straight away, or you? you've always got two more. The two bowl pairs, sometimes, you've got to be a bit careful. He needs to just open this up a little bit, give himself a chance. Just choose what pace he wants to play at it. Yeah, Wayne's got experience on the rink as well, so you know not to mess about with this, really. Got to go straight through it. Could peel both red bowls away. There's also the hard shot if he wants to play, just a yard maybe on the forehand. Release it, but I think it'll go quick. Hmm. I was playing just to try and release it. Problem is, it doesn't want to touch because it could set something up, mate. I think probably the hardest shot is to get round that to try and score a point in the back. Three thirds, so I think we'll give it a whirl. What, six, yeah, I'm, six not sure, I'm not sure really. He almost committed. I think he is. Looks like he's lining up to play a runner. Thought he might have gone with that with the first, to be fair. This will come down quick. Oh, just wide of the target. Draw for Nick here now. Just pushing it up a touch. Well, what a fantastic ball that was. Three shots, Brett and Harlow. Set score three six after four ends. It just shows you, doesn't it? Sometimes if you're happy playing a hand and there's a ball just slightly in your way, just to ignore it sometimes. Yeah, I mean Nick was happy down there. I mean there was a, a chance he could have got a touch off it as well to guarantee the count, and if he had a little touch on the jack as well, he could have even brought his previous in. Jack length twenty seven um, and a half meters. Much needed score there really for uh, Greg and Nick. Let's him straight back into this set now. And immediately a jack change. To Almost three quarters exactly, isn't it, really? Right back. Right back. Played it well. Yeah, well done. Well done. to this jack just the pace it's a good second ball you can just get around it it is eight inch gap not so bad 
Here he comes. Pretty good again from Greg here. He certainly found his range the last couple of ends. He's <laughs> played four cracking balls, hasn't he? Yeah. Be interesting what Ash, when gets Ashley to play here. He's just sticking to the draw. There's a lot of players that would have been tempted to have a go at that straight away. Now, is he just making it? He looks a bit further. It's coming ben now. Ben Dash. Oh, ben Dash. Great effort. Oh, okay. Great shot. An exceptional ball from Ashley. Probably second. One red. Ashley is just 21 years of age. Basing Stoke. It's good to see a lot of the, the younger players qualifying this year. Touch of movement. Great try, mate. Great try, mate. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> far away you know if it just got to the green bowl and sat it over it might just get to the red bowl yeah it been perfect it's not a great deal nick wants to change off his last dropping the red onto the jack would be absolutely perfect not another difficult one is it <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Basically, you need to lose two inches of weight, not three. <laughs> yeah. so about two years ago, I think Greg's just called Nick to play his, his shot from two years ago, yeah? <laughs> okay, mate, that's fine. That's a good thing about the team game, Rob, isn't it? You know, the, the spectators just get to see what, you know, the, the chatter between or the banter, if you wish. We had it before with, with Les and Jason. Just, it's, it's quite good just to get the, the players with, you know, the, the good character behind them as well. Yeah, so compared to the singles, which is a pretty quiet game, you occasionally get a little bit of banter in the singles, but definitely not like you do in the pairs. Um, it's certainly... Great game to play in and say that I know the crowd definitely love it. I mean, just on the high side there. One shot, Harlow and Brett. <laughs> Set score 4 6 after 5 ends. Length 26 and a half meters. Full start from Greg there. Someone a little bit of disturbance, I think, just in his eye line. Yeah. Bit of coughing in the crowd.
Start then now. Yeah, decent starter. 18. you got now? Ooh. Well done. Well played. Well done. And Brooke certainly stepped up these last three ends now. Putting a lot of pressure on, on Ashley. And two ball pairs. It's, it's a game that can be won from the front, really. Yeah, I do believe that. Can definitely well be won from the front. Hurry. Hurry, Ashley. That's a great response here, though. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, play, mate. Oh, play. Yeah. Winner. Great shot. What a correction that was. A sigh of relief. One great. <laughs> Well, any connection on either hand for Nikki, just to release that jack, just a foot or two. Just here, I think, mate. Line is good enough. Great try. Same line. Yeah, I, under that. I don't think I'm coming back off the backhand. Well, where you finish, if you lose four feet, that will just do enough. <coughs> that looks incredibly tight. Just okay. trying to play down that inside line, which is so hard. Yeah, wasn't happy, was he? He knows sometimes that hand does have a tendency just to stick with a bit of pace. Well, needs to get back. Just the one, I think. One shot, Wilgris and Nevercliff. Yep, one shot, so 7 4 to Ashley and Wayne. Set score 4 7 after six ends. Almost at the stage, Nick and Greg definitely need to win this end, really. Then 25 and a half set. metres. Yep, just three to go. Good stuff this afternoon, Greg.
good road again. Well, it's not too far away. Too red. Something very similar for Wayne, get to the bowl or the jack. Certainly a good second there from from Wayne. Oh, Nick's not far, just needs to run a touch. Yeah, I probably wanted to be just slightly past Jack High. Definitely got an attacking shot down the forehand if he wants to play it. Yeah. Just inside the front red one. Down to the bowl of the jack. He can use his own short ball to come back on it. Actually gets a probably a better angle using the, the short green ball. Yeah, it's the perfect result really. Ball two and a half yards past as well, so plenty of position. Oh, he's going firm. Oh, oh, well, that was a good hit, but a, a very bad connection. Kind of jammed into it. Should have really gone somewhere between the green bowl and the one regular red. spot. Deserved better, as you say. Yeah, I was a little bit surprised at the pace Wayne played at that. To be fair, um, give Nick a nice free opportunity here now to to score a double. Shots, Holler and Brett. Set score six seven after seven ends. Chat length twenty seven and a half meters. Keep pedaling. Keep pedaling all the way. And again. Yeah, well done. Well done. Fourteen. Good 
Rack again. Steady as such could have been. That's fine, mate. Well, two decent balls again from Greg. Line's good enough. Sent it. No. Line's pretty decent. Here he comes now. Harry Ash. Well, well played. played. Hey. Excellent. One green. Going for Ashley's bowl. Very nearly. I think it's important, you know, line one here that puts two between them going into the into the final end. Another one would be a lot better. He needs to miss the front. I think he's going to get caught. Time right. again, mate. Exactly the same. Solid on the jap is what he yeah, wants. Close here. Excellent. Great Followed it as well. Shot. Excellent bowl, you can see. Well, Ashley's bowls stayed on the rink as well. Now, oh dear. There we go. Well, about a foot of room. Yeah, uh, has got a few inches to play with, but. This isn't easy. So it's always, uh, you always have to favour the bowl in the ditch, don't you? Because obviously you've got the angle of the, the ditch for the yeah. measure to go down. Wayne's not overly impressed, I don't think. No, he's turned his back on it already. Well, it's going to be a one-end shootout for this first set. One shot, hollow and break. That quite a few times during these first few games where someone's actually hit the target, but normally when you hit a jacket, one, one jack flies one way, the ball goes maybe a yard or two the other way. But it's been so many games where the ball's actually gone with it and finished very, very, very close. Jack length 27 meters. Well, this will be played like a tie break end. Gets off the line here, Ash. Yeah, it's come in. Really good. Just the pace. Just drop short. Yeah, got Run. 
Run. Run. And again, I can't pull it any <laughs> He's just got to give this a chance on the line, hasn't he? Just make sure he reaches. If he doesn't hit the target, he finishes good for Wayne, just slightly past the head. Anything but short, really. Yeah, the edge of his own bowl is looking pretty good from out. Or it's positioned as well. Bend. Bend and run. Bend and run, Ash. Bend! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh, he's drawn it. What a wow. shot. Great shot. <laughs> That's a great ball that was. One green. I'm messing around from Nick here. Forehand. Greg's front bowl solid is perfect. Yeah, double plant. Needs to get down. Oh. Any ideas? <laughs> right, so I think Wayne does need to get another one in. I'll be down the forehand, I think. Mm. No, I, 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 I'm with you, Rob. I'd play that forehand draw. Even if he gets on Nick's front bowl, it could it could change or Greg's front bowl or so it could change angles and that as well. Because Nick's got nothing else on at the moment. No danger down that forehand at all. Nope. For the draw pace, you know, draw pace he can't really do any dam damage getting to the, the red bowl. Won't certainly won't turn his own out. I suppose the only danger is if you just try down there and just finish slightly wider the red bowl and make a, a bit of a bigger target, but if you do that on the other hand. Giving this a chance. Sorry, mate. Oh, it's a great shot here from Wayne. Oh. Yeah. Same target gets both we both thought that was the, the obvious shot. Aim for Nick. Down that forehand with pace. Looking for the front red into the second. Certainly on a tighter line. All on connections now. Yeah, he's been unlucky. The green ball's gone with it. One shot, first set. Nevergliff and Wilgris. <laughs> oh, one shot there. So it's the uh, English qualifiers of Wayne Wilgris. Ashley Nevercliff take that. Very interesting first set. Eight shots to seven. Greg just having a little discussion about maybe just shaking it up a little bit. Ashley has been playing the just over minimum length kind of jack. Yeah, I'm just wondering if Greg might be tempted to bring the mat up a bit further this time or they'll go back to the same as they were almost long. Yeah. That four foot with the mat. Jack will probably be T-ish. And don't forget this afternoon we have uh, the first of the quarterfinals coming up around about 10 minutes 15 minutes after this one finishes 28 meters current holders mark Dawes and jamie chesney will be taking on simon skelton and michael stepney you've got uh, paul foster and alex marshall in the commentary box for that one all right 
Sie ist zwar Pretty good again. Yeah, just, just dropped 18 inches. Finishing a decent place. So that Nick's going to be pressing down the forehand of the inside edge of, of Greg's. on contact on the green now. Mm. Same shot for Wayne. Wayne. Just wants yeah. to get the other side of the red bowl. Doesn't need to change much off his last bowl. Play the same bowl. He'll be close to dropping off it. A great start to the second set for Ashley and Wayne after winning the first. Two shots, Wilgris and Nevercliffe. Set score zero two, first end. Length twenty three and a half meters.
chance for Greg now to put Wayne under pressure. Yeah, first real loose end from Ashley of the game there. Uh, if we can get another tight one in here. Gets around his own red, he's really good. Yep. Yep, nicely hidden out of sight. Probably just a backhand draw for Wayne. Try and get something in there nice and tight. That's a great effort from Wayne. Yeah, it wasn't far away. Yeah, playing full of confidence at the moment after outdoor season he's had. Coming away with a national pairs title. Run a touch. Gets to his own green and drops in. Well, effort from Nick here. Nice the crunch end. on the Perfect. jack. Oh. What a fabulous ball that was. Three shots, Harlow and Brett. Set score 3 2 after two ends. Well, that'll give him a boost. Length, 23 and a half metres. Minimum jack this time from Greg. Yeah, Ashley played something very similar, didn't he, not so long ago? Just over the peg. Yeah, Ashley just struggles to find centre on the shorter jacks, a little bit shorter. Greg and Nick both playing with big bias bowls. Yeah. Greg playing with his Tigers, I think Nick's with his Evos. Just about one green.
think certainly in the area with this. shoulder yep just about dead pace yeah, thinks he's quick from hand oh, he's normally pretty good when he thinks that I think he's not here I don't think is he where's he just up <laughs> I don't think he was quick Chance here for Wayne. Get to the red, drop it down once, and get the three back from the previous end. One shot, Wilkerson, Nevercliff. Another one shot, all tight up, three apiece. Set score 3-3 three, three after three ends. Those asking about the single starts Tuesday. Irving King, first game on. Plays Scott Edwards. Some really interesting first games, actually. You're one of the tips, I think, Robert, for the interesting first games as well. You and David Bolt, that's a tough one for you. Yeah, it's not not the easiest of first rounds, but sometimes that can be, that can be good. Um, you get a tough first round and do get over the line, then you're set up Chapland, and into the tournament. And a half meters. Full gear running, but there's certainly some really good first rounds. Um, I think the standout one is obviously Jamie Chesney versus Jamie Walker. Yep. Uh, both those players hoping to get a nice a nice message tomorrow I believe from Bowles England you can see the tactic here you know even though you know, the Ashley started off on a very, very similar length, but I think what they're doing is obviously G Greg is playing a lot more consistent at the front. You know, to be fair, uh, sometimes you just need to kind of like just keep at certain things, and it's, you know, there's very little change in in what you can do. Sometimes people think when you need to shake a game off, if someone's playing really, really short, you need to go completely polar opposite and go a lot further. But it's not necessarily the case. Sometimes I think sometimes if you just change it slightly, you know, that has a better impact. I think. Yeah, can do. Even say, as you say, just changing that jack by yard to four foot can make a make a big difference, really. Um, but say, Greg's been playing pretty well on all the lengths, but certainly this this length he's been playing well. Um, and it's just bowls in the head, really. Um, Greg's been winning, probably One just Greg. about winning the battle up front. Yeah, Ashley's had some uh, good correction bowls, hasn't he? Which is obviously, you know, it's very important. You know, it's about learning from your first bowl. from Wayne really <coughs> looks to be just up yeah just a the wrong side yeah first real loose end from both of the both of them there <coughs> yep 
certainly be looking to add a, another one in here. Yeah, huge chance for Nick Brett. Greg's already clapping it in. Three shots, Harlow and Brett. Set score 6 3 after four ends. Well, that's the fourth three in this game. Length 26 meters. Right back now. And again. Run, run. Run, run. Well played. Well played. And again, again, Greg, straight on with his first. Sorry a bit. Great try. Just, just get to it. Oh, a decent attempt. 18. Sorry. Can't be far off this again, you know. Gets behind the jab. <laughs> Pretty good. Excellent ball, son, Greg. He just needs to run a touch, I think. Great right effort. Two red. See Nick there playing the backhand, trying to get another shot. Keeps it out of sight. Miss that. Try, mate. Great try. Not right with that. Not reached. Okay. Well, you can turn it over here. And the forehand, I think. Yeah, no. I'm going to say it's just possible there, but obviously there's a lot better chances there. Little touch that jack round the corner. Yep. Come on, stick. All you got. Certainly in the area. Come on, stick. All you got. All you got. Oh. Oh. The ball from Nick, but. It's a pretty wide target. You can see how wide it is there. It's almost 18 inches wide. Three down. I'll be personally hitting that. Yeah, I don't think we'll even be short. Probably hard to get shot out of it, but certainly damage limitation. There's Wayne's family. Feet up, relaxing there, look. You could play. You could draw and play a really good ball, six or seven inches away, and still drop a couple. 
There is a possibility outside edge of Nick's last bowl. He could potentially remove the three bowls. Well, that's the result. Uh, oh, hang on, that red bowl's stayed in, unfortunately. Far left hand side one. Stayed in the rink. Three like shots, Harlow and Brett. Well, he's unlucky, really. Yeah, you wouldn't think he could hit that like that and still drop a three. Set score 9 3 after 5 X. Stick. Yeah. Yeah. It's a new nickname Nick's got. Is it Stick? Is he calling it? No, he's got lots of nicknames. <laughs> Sticky. I think that was I think that was Kay that came up that year plenty a few years ago. I think Kay comes up with most of the nicknames, I think. Jack Land, 23 and a half metres. Back to back threes for Greg and Nick there, so pushing forward in this second set. Wayne's also in the singles this year. On the very first qualifier, plays Simon Skelton. Wayne's just hanging around just outside top 16. Currently provisionally ranked joint well 20th with Gray McKee. Well played. Well played. Yeah, it's a big year for Wayne, really. If he can can get a run again in the single, so he could definitely push up into the top 16. And he knows he can do it. Previous semi-finalist here. It's like you said, it's two balls. It's, two a, it's one from the front. At the moment, you know, this this second set's all been about, you know, kind of Greg, really. You know, he's been putting pressure on every, every single end. Ashley's, you know, he's, he's been playing some good balls. Uh, he's been playing a lot of recovery balls. Um, so it, it's, it's looking highly likely at this stage that something's going to have to change quickly or we're going to go into a, a tie break. Anything can happen in a tie break, though. Yeah, I mean, Wayne would be happy winning the first set. I mean, he'll be happy with that, obviously. Try and push on and win the second to get through, but if you asked him before the game, I'm sure he'd be happy to take Nick and Greg into a tie break. Oh, yes. No, you've only got to find a couple of bowls to get over the line. In again for another three here. We well, might be tempted. Wayne just checking the score. Six and eight. There's still four ends to play. Certainly won't want to drop a three. Sometimes it might be worth just just drop the three in. Actually, they'll struggle to win the set from this this stage anyway. Then get get into the straight into the tie break. It's, it's definitely looking like that Pretty now. Shot. Probably another couple of ends. Set score twelve three after six ends. Well, as the advert goes, three is a magic number. Four threes. In this set.
Experience to play, Nick and Greg just need to win this end. Jump then, 25 and a half metres. If anything, um, Wayne, that might be better losing this end. Get straight into the tie break because Ashley's played slightly better bowls going in the opposite direction well through the game. She's passed. Run back now. Run again. Run, run. Run. Well, yeah, well Greg's here again. I can just get past Greg's. Mm. Well, anything by the hole. Oh, first he wants really. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, bowl a bit solid at first. The jack wouldn't have travelled just as far. It's a difficult shot to play, but he played it well. Well, I think he wants to get this bowl in and just out of sight. Has he pushed past? Stop. Well, draw for three. Shots, Wilgris and Nevercliffe. Oh, let off there, really. Set score 12 5 after seven ends. Well, those two balls were not like the players there. You thought both players would have made with those. Shotland, 27 and a half metres. Get right back. Uh, 
good start, mate. Far away, mate, at all. Two feet's plenty. Two of the three that they definitely need. Run, run. One green. what Wayne's doing there with his hand. <laughs> the amazement. Well, again, he's been given a chance again. <laughs> yeah, he's had a couple of chances, really. Last bowl, the previous end. And this one. That's a big puff of the cheeks. I don't think that's going to be enough. Just beat me out there. They need three, don't they? There's three. Nick might even have a little yeah, dabble is. at this. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. Nick just reminds Greg of the store. <laughs> so it's going to be uh, a two, I think, unless Nick does something with this. Two shots, Will Grissom, Nevercliffe, second set, Harlow and Brett, match tiebreak. So it's Nick Brett and uh, Greg Harlow that take the second set, 12 shots to seven. Into a tiebreak we go. First end tiebreak, Greg runs the toss and has given the jack to Ashley. So Nick and Greg have the power of the toss and they have elected to give the jack away to Ashley on this first end. Get the choice on the third end as well should it get that far ashley and wayne of course will have the choice on the next end i've seen a little bit of both during these championships of keeping the the jack or giving it away most people prefer the last ball don't they most not all yeah definitely going to the last end i think most will will definitely give it first second end there, never tell a lot of players meters generally give it away but it depends how the game's gone really if one player is playing a, a particular length really well Run 
again. Yeah, well done. Well done. 14. Maybe 18. Down you come now. Down you come. Ease and down. Ease and down. Just gave him too many chances just to get to that jack. Well, last chance just to get to the bowler jack. Oh, he drops. Coming now. Oh, he's close here. He's played it here. Great shot. Yes, done it. That's it, you're tied, right? Only you've got to find one. One green. Not a time to pull that out. What do you think, Rob? Not easy. Yeah, not sure what the runner runner does. We haven't had a good look at the, the headers yet. I think he's forcing down through the four. Favoured shot. Maybe use his own wide ball. I think he's looking for just a slight flick off this ball here now. Oh, very nearly, very very nearly. First that was the only chance he had of getting back to the shot ball. Only half an inch away, but it's Wayne and Ashley take the first tie break. I think they'll be giving this away now. Yep, they're going to give it away as well. say just takes one bowl sometimes doesn't it not only did Can't he play a great bowl he made it you know very difficult to get to finishing right in front of it Slightly under the line and not reached.
plenty of room around it it's a good four feet down almost Going on a bit of road I'm on pace here now <laughs> nearly that's a good ball there gives Wayne options now yep allows Wayne to attack it Actually, his first bowl's finished. Isn't easy for Nick either now. One red. Just got to negotiate these front balls. Sits off that, it's good. Yeah, that's well played. They may go for both balls. Yeah, it doesn't change Wayne. Down oh, the forehand oh, big. Yeah, Jack forehand. for both balls. Perfect, his red, last red ball solid. In the area. He's on it, it's going to be. Say it's still wobbling towards the back. No, it's just gone off. shot Nick's got here. <laughs> no. Well, he tries to just draw on the forehand just right round it and as close back as possible or you go very very deep down the back of the ring. I just change something underneath. Changing angles I think yeah. He's looking to lift something. He doesn't want to knock him in. Great <laughs> 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 Never worried. <laughs> well, not much to look at really from Wayne here. Forehand, decent pace. chance of the jack coming back up the green off the back red as well yeah just concentrate on hitting the target what will be will be all on results now oh, one away second end Harlow and Brett well, this game's going all the way to the final end. Last ball, Nicky and Greg. Yeah, long way, yeah. Hard to tell which way this is going to go, Rob. Yeah, so it's been a it's been a good, decent game. Um, you you're probably slightly fa favour Nick and Greg now, just because Nick's got last bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chop length twenty six and a half metres. Slight change of length here as well. Ashley's gone a little bit longer this time. Good time to find one now.
right back to it, right back, and again, and again, and again. Well, that's certainly the lead you want on a last tie break end. Lean ball from Ashley again, he'll be close to resting Greg's. He's just pushed through this. Target. I think he will just go for the draw, but he does have the option as well for a kill. <coughs> yeah, that's right, you can elect to kill it on the last end of a tie break only. Oh, he's in the area. It's a great effort here from Wayne. Just needs to run. One red. Five or six inches short. What a great effort. We've called Nick up to have a look at this. Just looking at angles and that. He might be tempted down the forehand. Certainly keen. Well, if you can just lock in, sits down with that locks that bowl in. So Wayne's just literally got a dead draw to the. He was so red close bowl. last time, but he's going to opt in for the dead draw again. Oh, a little bit of grimace on the face there from Wayne. Thought he was quick. Very close. Well, Needs well. to run a touch now for perfect. <laughs> Dear in me. There's the a special. <laughs> Arms in the air. What an absolute outstanding bowl. Very well dressed. Two green. <laughs> I think this would be a nominate to kill there. It's wow. just signalled. Nick has nominated to kill the end with this ball. Pace from Nick down the forehand. Maybe me. Talk about pulling one out of the bag. Looks interested. All on connections now. He's got the pair. Oh, he's caught the kill. Great shot from Nick. My goodness. <laughs> well, some top class pressure balls being played on this. End of the tie break. Just when you think it's all over, we go again for another end. So it has to go back, I think, does it? Yep. Yeah. Great goodness. sportsmanship there as well from Wayne. Gave okay. pretty much gave Nicky a high five as well for the shot. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So Wayne's killed that one now, so that's their only option of killing on the third tie break end. You got Greg and Nicky can still nominate. Oh sorry, Greg and Nicky have lost their nomination now, so Wayne and Ashley can still nominate and kill an end if needed. So on the last tie break end, the third end only, both pairs can nominate as many times as they like, but can only kill the end once. Yeah, that's when they remember. A few, a few times a players have forgotten that option. Yeah, definitely in the singles. Not so much in the pairs. Um, but certainly in the singles. With the shot clock and that, sometimes it does slip your mind. Don't forget the 3.30 game will be slightly late. It'll be roughly 10 or 15 minutes after this one finishes. Not long yet. You might help us hang around. Yeah, wait's good enough. Yeah, same bowl, mate. If you can sit your own, you get the perfect back toucher. Slightly underneath, is it? Well, if you finish centre, it won't be too bad. Yeah, it's going. Try, mate. Two feet. Stay high. Great offer from Greg stay here. Stay high. Needs to stay up now. <laughs> Great shot. One red. Well, ball after ball, we've seen some great stuff. <laughs> Back to you, Wayne. <laughs> Something here from Wayne. Doesn't want to get on the jack. He might be unlucky here. He stays well. up. Probably wins it. We're going too close. Greg's <laughs> staying well clear. <laughs> Somebody tell us. <laughs> Greg's just waiting it for the fall, I think. I think Nick will be. It look easier to take take it out than draw. Quick down the backhand if it is definitely one down. Just bowl wide here. I just get nothing. I think. I think I probably. Rather see you have two goes at yeah. it, right, I think. Yeah, play quick, I think. Just arriving, always just seems to stick wide. Needs to just move a touch. Perfect. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. One red. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Wayne's thinking, what do I have to do <laughs> to win this game? Oh my goodness. Oh, Mick's taking his seat in the crowd. A little chat, but yeah, Wayne's just got to repeat pretty much his previous delivery. I mean, look at that touch here. Well, I've not had a, a tie break as exciting as this for a while. John, other than something similar. As long as if he gets, he gets his own green and falls back, I think he's going to hit the jack again and it'll still be one to red. I think he's got to get to the red ball or the jack itself. Not easy, I know. No, it's, no, it's tough. And just to be up, I think he's nominated to kill. Why is nominated to kill the end with this ball? Well, there we go again. Robert stood up hanging out the car to watch Wing Dog for this one. Look at the angles, doesn't seem a great, great target. There we go. Needs to hang on here. Great shot. Oh, it's killed 81. Oh, I thought I'd stay here. Nick would in trouble. <laughs> He thought he had Jack cleaning the uh, ditch there. So, we go into a fifth end of <laughs> the tie break. What time's dinner? <laughs> now we need a tight end to go in a one bowl shootout just to round the whole thing off. Yeah. Yeah, not seen one of them in a while. Not only the great balls, the great pressure balls, aren't they? Is that then? You know, if you're in the middle of a game or the start of a game, it's a great ball. That's a great balls under so much pressure. Yeah, no margin for error in any of those either. Um, Wayne's draws, Nick's run. Wayne's runner as well. <laughs> Wayne, he's getting his money's worth for his ring fees. <laughs> Right back, and again. Not and a bad again. here from Greg. And again. <laughs> Some tremendous leading by Greg. Just won't get back, I don't think, for him. Oh, man. It's a great try, Great well, effort. A very good effort. Pick this one if you can, mate. Up there. Stay high. Stay high. Gently, gently. Well done. Well done. Pretty perfect. I'd say. One red. What do you 
second and Joyce. Perfect bowl, or do you hit hit to start with and then? Yeah, have one bowl of it. The trouble is, what is the perfect ball? Crunching the jack on the forehand, do you think? Sit the ball away, or like I say, just try and hit it and open it up. Obviously, both players have now killed their end, so that's it. They can't can't elect to kill any more ends. You only get to kill it once. That's been done by both teams, so it will be definitely finished this end, unless we have a tied end. Which is a possibility if he does go for the draw. Well, it is a tied end. We have a one-ball shootout. Now, that is interesting. Fair effort from Wayne here. Not quite going to get back in time for him. No, just ever so slightly up. I'm not sure about the, the backhand for that, really. Yeah, always, if you're not dead pace, it just won't come back, will it? Yeah, just a choice of shot, really. I couldn't really see much benefit from playing the, the back. Oh, hand tends to just seem to want to come back that bit more, doesn't it? More options down that hand as well. You got into the jack and into the bowl down the other hand. You've almost just got the thin of the jack on the underside. So, uh, he's committed. He's got the perfect bowl to play now. Yeah, it does look forehand. Got nothing really, are we? I don't think Wayne's played a bowl down that forehand all game. Yeah, that, mate. He's looking for must be the underside of the jack, I think. Well, he's after it. I say he's following it down. Just pushing it up. I'm not sure if he's got no, the run in. It's not just going to make the trip. Well, third end and the match. What oh, a great break. game that was. You know, Ashley and Wayne got off to a fantastic start in the first set. Managed to just sneak it over the line. Eight seven. Nick and uh, Greg came back fighting in the second. Four threes in a row, Nick winning that one. Twelve seven. And well, into a tie break. And what a tie break that was. It's Nick Brett and Greg Hollow that are over the line and into the quarter final. Well, in about 10 or 15 minutes' time, we have the defending World Open Pairs champions, Mark Dawes and Jamie Chesney. They're going to be playing Simon Skelton and Michael Stepney. And at 7.30, the Warmington of the United States teams up with Scott Edwards against Lee Calver and also Connor Sonato. We'll see you in about 15 minutes' time.